Camera lens trained on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? And good evening to you from this beautifully appointed stadium, the home of Arsenal here in North London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Decent enough idea. Shame about the execution. Well, I don't think that was good enough, and I also think it was the wrong option. Here are the starters for Arsenal. Kylian Mbappe starts with Vinicius Jr. in the wide areas. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. And a goal has gone in in the Villa game. Alex Scott has all the information for us. It's a goal for Fulham. It's now 1-0 with only eight minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And promising stuff from Arsenal. And they deal with the threat this time. Well, on paper, this ought to be a mismatch because it's the most proficient attack in the league against the weakest front line in the league. Well, you're right, Derek. In front of these fans, you expect them to score more goals. They've been so good going forward, but you just never... Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And still an opportunity. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And news of a goal at Anfield. Opportunity. And it's gone in. Beyond the goalkeeper. Arsenal level. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. So back underway, following the equaliser. Really good challenge. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Corner kick played in. And the problem not completely solved. Decent looking pass. And the shot. That was going in. Oh, the threat is there. And the referee blows for a... And the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. 
What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Doing well to keep possession. Pulls it back. Excellent block. And there we have it. The first half action is over here at the Emirates. Underway in the second half here at the home of Arsenal. Right, let's join Alex Scott because I understand there's been a goal in the Spurs game, Alex. It's a goal for Spurs. It's now 1-0 with 46 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. Good idea. Determined defending. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Arsenal taking on Brighton. Able to skip past his man. Stopped a certain goal. So deflection and it will be a throw in. Good pass. And a decent delivery. Just the clearance that was needed. Vinicius Jr. Great defending. Might be a chance to break. Possession lost by Arsenal. Trying to really get at the opposition here. The defender put in the challenge and it might be a red card. And it was always going to be crystal clear for the referee in terms of the decision. Well, he had to make a tackle, didn't he? Unfortunately, it wasn't a good one. The keeper is happy the bar was there. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Bellingham. Very quick thinking there. So full time here and a game that certainly was intense throughout but a point apiece, it finishes in a draw. Give us the Arsenal angle in all of this. Yes Derek, obviously not the best result from their point of view because on paper they were favourites for the three points today. But there's no easy game in this league and they just have to switch their focus to the next match now. Some questions regarding the match. Thanks very much for speaking to us.